Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we take a look at the sinister story of Bonnie's Bakery. While this tale of a cutesy, wholesome baker seems bright and cheery on the surface, there are dark truths hidden in the basement, revealing what really ends up in those delicious pastries and pies. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look at the story, and all six endings, of Bonnie's Bakery. Morning has broken and Bonnie sweeps the floor ready to open the bakery to her adoring public, who are already forming a line outside. She begins to greet them one by one as they turn up for freshly baked treats. While Bonnie is human, the other townsfolk are all animal in appearance. Bears, raccoons, pigs and the like. Bonnie smiles warmly as she greets her guests. One of her best friends, Bear, asks Bonnie if she would be so kind as to share her red velvet cake recipe with him, so that he may attempt recreating it at home. Bonnie kindly denies his request, stating that a chef should never be so foolish as to reveal the ingredients of their secret recipes. With the matter dealt with, Bonnie is excited to start work for the day, and quickly preps her baking station. She begins to serve the ever-growing crowd of customers, who each select one of four possible food items on the menu. These are red velvet cake, pastry, white donuts, and meat bun. If we analyse this seemingly innocent menu selection, we pick up on a few peculiarities. Rather than butter, Bonnie uses an oddly labelled item simply called fat. The meat bun is spelt M-E-E-T, rather than the correct spelling, M-E-A-T. And there is a colouring simply titled Red. This could simply be chalked up to strange phrasing on Bonnie's part, but as we soon discover, something far more unsettling is afoot in this bakery. After finishing for the day, Bonnie has a conversation with her good friend Bear. Depending on how well Bonnie performs, the conversation goes one of three ways. Bear goes on to mention troubling events about town. He speaks of how animals have been disappearing as if erased from existence. Bonnie seems a little flustered by this conversation and tells Bear to stay safe out there. Little does Bear know that Bonnie is the one responsible for the vanishing of the townsfolk. This is revealed moments later, when we are transported into Bonnie's basement and step into the shoes of another human character, who has been imprisoned with her animal victims. The game now switches to a 3D perspective. Our character speaks with the last surviving animal prisoners, who have been slowly taken apart piece by piece so their flesh can be used in Bonnie's recipes. But how did this occur? Was Bonnie always so cruel and unhinged? Through the acquisition of six journal pages written by Bonnie that are found scattered about the basement, we learn of her chilling backstory, page by page. Bonnie opened the bakery with good intentions. She simply wanted to run a business where the animals could come and eat tasty food. Unfortunately, no one liked her cooking, and as the weeks dragged by, customers became few and far between. Eventually, no one turned up to eat at all. Then, when Bonnie was on the brink of closing the doors for good, a rabbit turned up at her door with severe injuries. Bonnie decided to take care of a poor creature and attempted to nurse it back to good health. After failing for many hours to save the rabbit, it seems Bonnie decided to use its corpse in her baking. Why waste good meat, right? Customers began turning back up after smelling a wonderful aroma coming from Bonnie's kitchen. Unbeknownst to them, the smell was of their fellow townsfolk. Bonnie realised her key to success was to use the flesh of the animals she lived alongside in her recipes, and so she began a murderous rampage. With the animals unwittingly eating their friends who vanished around them after being kidnapped by Bonnie in the night. With the terrible truth now revealed, it's time for this unlucky human to escape and try to save the remaining townsfolk. To do this, we must decipher the door code sealing the exit. Each journal page contains a number for the code. This is complicated by a murderous Bonnie, who patrols with her meat cleaver and attacks if she catches us outside our designated cell. So now, let's take a look at each ending and witness the many different outcomes to this terrible tale. 
The first ending, Fresh Ingredients, is achieved by reaching Act 2 of the game and then allowing Bonnie to catch us in the basement before unlocking the door. It's one of the easiest endings to achieve and provides the most morbid of outcomes. In this ending, Bonnie continues to work as usual, opening up the bakery the very next day. She speaks with her friend Bear who gives her the idea of offering a takeaway service. He requests a slice of red velvet cake and Bonnie smiles, telling him she will make it with the freshest ingredients available. A knowing wink suggests those ingredients are in fact the player themselves. A selection of meat, including a human face on a hook, confirms this moments later. Ending 2 is titled Escape. It's a far better ending yet doesn't quite provide the desired closure I'm sure we're all looking for. For this ending, we input the code to the basement door and escape into the night. Upon informing the townsfolk of Bonnie's horrendous crimes, the animals are appalled and rally together to hunt down Bonnie and bring her to justice. But Bonnie has fled the town, leaving her nightmarish bakery to fall into a state of ruin over the months that follow. It is boarded up and forgotten, while Bonnie is never seen or heard from again. This ending is unlocked if the bear tells Bonnie that she has a slow and steady performance during her shift. This is because the amount of meat Bonnie uses during a shift dictates how much evidence is left for the investigating animals to discover upon checking out the bakery. Use too much and there's no evidence left. Use too little and the animals won't be suspicious of Bonnie at all. To unlock ending 3, Waiting, we must complete a perfect shift and have the bear congratulate Bonnie and mention how she needs lots more ingredients. Then simply unlock the exit during Act 2 and a new ending plays out. In this third ending, after escaping, the protagonist doesn't have enough evidence to convict Bonnie and so begins watching her every move from the shadows gathering data day by day in secret as she works away at the bakery, waiting for the day when she slips up and they can finally expose the terrifying truth. Ending 4 is achieved if we finish Bonnie's shift with a middling or poor performance. The bear comments something to this effect and upon escaping the basement, we find the townsfolk unwilling to believe any of the accusations made about Bonnie. They don't believe such a kind and warm-hearted lady could ever carry out such horrifying acts. What's more, these animals are addicted to the mystery meat used in Bonnie's pastries. With no one else to turn to, the protagonist goes into hiding, but can't shake a feeling of fear and paranoia. The feeling that someone is watching them, waiting to strike. The fifth ending is called Bingus and is the game's joke ending. It's fairly nonsensical and completely for fun. This ending is unlocked by literally doing nothing during the entirety of Bonnie's shift, serving and baking no food whatsoever so that we finish with a score of zero. If we do this then a photoshopped screen appears with unfinished game art, a dancing gif of Bonnie titled Bingus and several other unfinished game assets. A jumbled message reads as follows. Bonnie's bakery was weird. Every client is a victim of food poisoning and Bonnie is prosecuted for poisoning everyone. The bakery is now closed because it is. We now move over to the secret ending. This is achieved by inputting a very special code into the number pad at the end of the game. 51322. We are given one number for this code on each of the previous ending screens. After entering this code, a hidden compartment springs open and provides the player with a knife. Wielding this blade, the protagonist and Bonnie fight to the death, with our hero emerging victorious and Bonnie falling in the struggle. The protagonist then saves the panda bear who survived imprisoned beneath the bakery and gets them to a hospital where they are nursed back to good health. The townsfolk are in shock upon learning the grim reality of what was in that mystery meat. They launch an investigation into the bakery to uncover the truth. Meanwhile, the surviving protagonist can finally rest easy, knowing Bonnie has, herself, been laid to rest. The town free from her murderous reign. 
And with that, we come to the end of today's video and this look at the story and endings of Bonnie's Bakery. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it both entertaining and informative. If you did, then remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more horror-related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.